So we talked about Boom Boom's build in season six, but congratulations, you also have a build. So tell us about it. I wanted to make a build that was able to play defense where it can guard centers and be able to guard guards and to be able to finish at the rim a little bit. So, it, you know, it can be dominant on the court like you, Boom Boom, you know? Uh, I don't know about all of that, but I'm sure we're going to have a good time. <laughs> well, we're going to take those two builds and we're going to see how they do a The Warriors coming into the arena earlier. They know a hostile crowd's waiting for them, and it looks like they'll be ready for it. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. In the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five spot. And for Sacramento, Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. De'Aaron Fox out there with Ellis, and it's Sabonis in at the center. Coming into the final game of the season, Greg, both of these teams appear ready for the next step. And it's still important to end the season strong, even if you're out of the playoff picture. And if you're in the playoffs, you, you try to build some momentum tonight. And it's the Kings to start out. Here's Fox. Right wing. Murray left side. Kings moving the ball around. Ellis with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Murray for three. Sabonis Warriors with the rebound Thompson outside pass to Curry back to Thompson here's the three buries the long range jumper Thompson's got his team on the board to start the game for the Warriors well, for poster guys, it's usually dunks, but I, I wouldn't mind a Clay Thompson jump shot poster to look at on a nightly basis. And that one drops for him. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Curry. A three ball. Rebound by Murray. The Kings have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Fox. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. How about that? Just accepting the contact and still getting the finish for Fox. Fox against Curry. And the pass to Thompson. Here's Green. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. For Sacramento, they've gone 2 for 4 from the field so far today. Murray, the pass to Fox. Pass to Ellis. Count it. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. And here are the Warriors now after the Kings pick up two. Here's Curry with the three. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. The Kings have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Brent, many noteworthy second-generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position. But DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Kings shooting their first free throws of this game. Two shots. Relax on the first. 
And the first one drops. And the new CBA challenging the top spending teams, Brent. That certainly affects the Warriors, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, the roster is not getting any younger, but it is getting more expensive. So to sustain that kind of payroll, especially with the way the tax system is set up, it's something the Warriors are, are just going to have to deal with at some point and make some very critical decisions around what this roster is going to look like. Oh, free throw is good from Ellis. Here's Curry. 33 points last game. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Pass to Green. Outside Curry. Five on the clock. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. How about the What's focus? Up? Steph going on the inside has great numbers as a finisher. You know, we talk so much, Brent, about Steph Curry shooting. What about his leadership skills and what that means to the team? Now, there's no doubt the team feeds off of Steph's positive joy and energy and his commitment to the game. He wills them to victory night in and night out. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That's good from Stephen Curry. And Brent, Steph Curry has so much love for this game. He's a true ambassador for the sport. Well, with Steph, anything that he touches seems to turn to gold. I mean, he, he loves hoops no matter what it is, supports the women's games. He's involved with youth athletics in the Bay Area and back home in Charlotte. And this guy just loves to see the sport grow as much as he has. And that's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. And Fox gets it to go. Fox steady in traffic and a reliable shooter. Curry against Fox. Curry dishes to Thompson. No good that time. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Pass to Sabonis. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green up on top. Guarded by Fox. Here's Curry. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, Steph up? out there puppeteering the defense, skilled at finishing around or over inside. Averaging less than nine points a game for his career, but Draymond Green does everything else on the basketball court, Brent, and I know you admire that. Yeah, of course, the former defensive player of the year, a tremendous playmaker, but the biggest skill, Kevin, is his mouth. He is a great communicator out there to keep this team connected. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. The free throw drops for Curry. Tell me the last time you watched Steph Curry on an NBA floor not have a smile on his face. I mean, always playing with that infectious joy. Now, here's Fox. Six points for him. And the layup is good. Fox has got eight points. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 four, four to start. Curry looking it over. The pass to Thompson from outside the arc. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Man, he's got that touch working tonight. Shooting the ball very well to start this one. Time out. It's called first of the game for Sacramento. And you think about Clay Thompson's career, Brent. An incredibly resilient player. Look at all he's overcome. Now you think about those injury cards dealt out to Clay. Well, here's an ACL. Not only that, he gets the Achilles card. So he did it twice, and he continues to play at a high level.
And here's a look at some numbers for Draymond Green. Warriors on D. Ellis surveying the D. Curry against Fox. And that one is off. Great D that time from Curry. Here's Green. They grab their own miss. And another shot. And Curry puts it in. Curry's got eight. And look at Steph just getting in there and getting dirty. It's Ellis on the wing. And there's the call on Curry. That is his first foul of the game. And here are the Kings now, trailing by two. Here's Murray. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And give credit to Murray right there, absorbing the hit and finding a way to finish. Curry passes to Green. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Curry outside, and another three for Golden State. I mean, he's like a magician how quickly he gets that shot off. Was it ever there? Fox passes to Murray. It's rebounded by Kaminga. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Barnes outside. Fox against Curry. Can't hit from 12. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to New Orleans. Golden State moving the ball around. On the wing, Thompson. Over Ellis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A clinic there on the use of the pump fake from Clay Thompson. Good job of drawing the contact on that play. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from oh, deep. Putting up break. and hitting a, break. a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. That free throw good from Thompson. And there's so many little things that Clay Thompson does for his team that go unnoticed. Trust me, they're not unappreciated. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. McGee, he's checked in for Sabonis. Trey Lyles comes in for Keegan Murray. Chris Duarte is checked in for Ellis. And it's Mitchell in for Fox. Good on both. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Here's Duarte. Barnes outside. Six on the shot clock. Driving inside. Here's McGee. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, a chance here to check out Chris Paul. His last ten games, and he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. As we've seen, he's a difficult defender to bring the ball up against. Quick feet, quick hands. Always looking to force a mistake. That free throw, no good. Go. 
good on the second free throw. So it's the Warriors now. Six-point game. Paul looking around. Charge inside. Covered by Lyons. Paul passes to Looney. Here's Pajemski. 18 feet away and he knocks it down. Now Mitchell. Passes it to Lyons. And the dunk by Lyons. They've worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, uh, G.A., that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Paul finds Sharnich. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And here are the Warriors now. Six-point lead. Paul against Mitchell. The shot's good from Paul. Well, a master weaver, Chris Paul, through those screens and rolls and angles on the floor. His dribble moves are just incredible. Mitchell passes Duarte. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. And that height, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. Now here's Paul. Nine points last game. Off target with his three. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Chris Paul picks up that one. The Kings have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. Two. Two. The free throw drops for Mitchell. And the Warriors making a change here. Payton's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Warriors leading by four. And here is Paul. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Peyton gets the bucket. And simply one of the best to ever do it. Chris Paul always making the right play. Here's Duarte. Kicks it to Mitchell. The Warriors pull it in. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, lots of sloppy play in that one. Several key miscues. They, they just couldn't overcome the mistakes. Well, their defense wasn't exactly solid in that game. So if they could make up for mistakes by causing some turnovers, it might have helped. They didn't even get those. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Pass to McGee. Over Looney. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Golden State's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. He takes it in, uses the glass to finish the layup. Pajemski's got six points. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Pass to Duarte. Oh. 
The Kings have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. 137 left to play in the first quarter. Paul with the ball. Charge outside. Trains the three-pointer. And the Warriors lead by 10. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Here's Forte. And it's Looney with the rebound. Warriors leading by 10. Charge looking around. The dish now to Paul. 51 seconds left to play here in the first. To the middle. Stolen by McGee. Here's Duarte. The pass to Mitchell. Passes it Duarte. Here's Lyles. Just four to shoot. The second chance effort. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Here's Vazenkov. Here's Mitchell. Oh, to beat the clock. Come on, what a play. That is fun to watch. Let's it go at the very last second. Oh, man, that's got to be frustrating for the defense, too. You just give up momentum like that at the end of the quarter. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. We've got more in store for you right after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. Greg, there has been some talk of having overtime play to a target score. Can you make the case for that? I mean, yeah. I mean, more certainty on how long the broadcast will go, right, Kevin? And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Mitchell is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Barnes in at the small forward. That's the five out there for the Kings. Now here's Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Here's Wiggins. Off the mark, his first miss of the game. One for two. The Kings trail by eight. A step back shot here. Here's Sabonis. Buries it down low. Sabonis has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Kings. Sabonis is an elite rebounder, and that's definitely high up on the scouting report. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Pulls up. High post. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Barnes outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. 
Barnes getting to the inside. He sees that the defense is closing in, and he still takes the hit. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Harrison Barnes continues to be a consummate professional. Goes out and competes every night. Gives you everything he's got. And so he hits both. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Fox against Curry. And the call will be against Sabonis. That's his first foul. Puts it up. Off the inbound. And Ellis with the block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Ellis. Curry against Fox. And stolen by Murray. Ellis in the post. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Ellis has got six. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Outside Curry. Green dishes to Curry. Curry always finds a way. This time inside. And Curry's found his groove out there, and that's a scary thought. Fox against Curry. Fox passes to Barnes. And the shot goes in. Barnes has got four this quarter. Golden State's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting to the paint, and they call an illegal screen here. And a chance here to see the numbers for Draymond Green. He's been a factor for them over the last month. He's averaging seven points a game, eight rebounds, and six assists. And he really anchors them defensively with that tenacious play on that side of the ball. He loves to get up into the uniform of his opposition and make you work for everything that you get offensively. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Fox against Curry. Out to Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. Over Barnes. And the Warriors take on two more. Well, Wiggins with a good use that time of the mid-range shot. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Last game matchup with the Suns. A, a tough loss there. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. Now here's Wiggins. Following the missed shot by De'Aaron Fox. Wiggins kicks to Curry. The three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. De'Aaron Fox is taking his game to new heights. 
Coach Mike Brown says the exciting part about Foxy is he's just starting to scratch the surface of who will end up being in this league. His feel and skill set are both off the charts. His speed is unbelievable, and his ability to get his own shots at his size is second to none. Kevin? David, I agree. He is special. Hey, thanks for the report. Now, Ellis, following the miss by Draymond Green from deep. Clock at six. Out left of the wing. Here's Murray. No good. That would have tied it. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now here's Wiggins. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against New Orleans. Well, what helps that out a lot is he got to the free throw line, which was a real game changer. It slowed down the opposition's momentum and made them play to his team style. Okay? And he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Ellis against Wiggins. Nobody near Barnes. Drops in the tray. Barnes has got seven now in this quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Fox against Curry. Here's Wiggins. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. Now Fox. 23 points for him the last game against Phoenix. And also in that one, he had the opposition on pins and needles on the defensive end of the floor, recording four steals that night on his way to an overall stellar game. Here's Barnes, and he converts the layup. Barnes has got nine. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Pass to Kaminga. And he makes good on his first shot of the game. And it feels like Steph doesn't even have to look. He just knows where his teammates are. For Sacramento, they've gone 6 of 9 in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. And how about Kaminga? One of just a handful of NBA players from Congo. And Greg, those players from the Congo, they have achieved some of the highest level of recognition in our league. NBA champions, a Hall of Famer. The player list is short, but boy, That's they're great. distinguished. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. This is one where the second foul is probably going to cost you some minutes in this game. The Warriors leading. Wiggins outside. Curry against Fox. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Good on the three-point shot. Wiggins has got seven points for the quarter. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. And there's the call on Curry. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Mitchell, he's checked in for Ellis. Now, here's Fox. Eight points for him. To the inside. Here's Sabonis. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Clock at two. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. So both teams making some changes here. Warriors leading by four. Greg, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Kaminga's got his second basket of the game. Mitchell passes to Sabonis. There's the pass to Orte. Knocks it loose. Here's Pajemski. He's got six. Passes to Paul. Over Mitchell. The shot by Paul. No good. 
He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. The shot no good by Duarte. Golden State's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Here's Pajemski. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Duarte. And just miss after miss right now. And here we go. Sharch, the fast break chance. And that's good for two as he grabs the feed. Sharch has got five now. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Duarte. Mitchell kicks to Sabonis. Here's Duarte from the line. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Shorich. He's got five. Down low. Here's Kaminga. Got a piece of it. Here's Duarte. Over to the wing. Pass to Vizenko. Back to Lyles. Here's Vizenkov. Still scoreless. Duarte gets deflected. Paul against Mitchell. Here's Pajemski. When you look at Chris Paul, uh, Brent, what sets him apart from other point guards? Well, he's just such a master of not only the mid-range, but delivering passes and, and making sure that big guys are accountable for the role player that they're having to guard on every pick-and-roll possession he plays in. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drop for Paul. Not much more you can say about CP3. Name a better floor leader. There's not one. Sacramento making a switch here. McGee's checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Peyton's checked in. Both free throws good from Paul. And here is Mitchell. The rejection by Paul. Great anticipation and hands on that block for Chris Paul. The Kings have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. Free throw drops for Mitchell. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Both good from the line that time. Here's Pajemski. Six points for him. Looney down low. McGee's there. Here's Pajemski. No good from outside. And we haven't seen them be quite as aggressive driving the basketball, settling far too much for jumpers. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket for Mitchell. All the way to the bucket, no resistance, 
just swiped the candy from him. Here's Paul. And he makes good on the layup. Paul's got six. Uh, Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. 149 left here in the second. Pass Duarte. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They've led by as much as 10. Mitchell against Paul. And it's sent back by Mitchell. 127 left to play in the first half. Dishes it to McGee. To the left wing. And stolen by Peyton. And it's the Warriors on the break. He dishes it to Paul. They get a hand on it. Stolen by McGee. While we've got a moment, let's now take a look at the teams that are the most second-chance points on the season. In third, the Warriors. And just having a terrific year on the offensive glass, it's because everybody buys in. Not just the big men, but even the guards are getting in on the act. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. We are having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. Mitchell against Paul. 55 seconds left now here in the second. Now the pass to Looney. Down to five on the shot clock. And the Warriors miss again. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level and his tonight has been high. Mitchell passes Duarte. Back to Mitchell. Over Paul. The shot by Mitchell, no good. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. It's deflected. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. One second left, and he knocks down the jumper. Mitchell's got eight here in the quarter. Oh, guys, that's an impressive spin move there. Didn't think he had a handle like that. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Warriors lead by two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Andrew, the energy and effort were apparent throughout that first half. How were you able to do it? Uh, we had a good practice, you know, working hard, really putting things together. Uh, keep doing that, you can come up with a W. Hey, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports 
halftime show. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 13 points, three rebounds, and five assists. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? It's always a positive sign to see assist numbers like this. They're moving the rock with ease and keeping each other happy. It's a brand of unselfish basketball that's fun to watch and play. And Shaq, what do you think about Sacramento? I like their commitment to getting to the line. Their aggressive approach is frustrating the defense. I like that. They're drawing fouls at a very high rate. I like that. Wouldn't be surprised if someone gets ejected. I will like that too. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Curry has been sensational. And you know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. Now you can get into a passing rhythm, and so far all of his have been on point. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Out in the perimeter, Thompson and Wiggins. Kaminga out there with Draymond Green, and it's Curry in at the point guard. Now here's Curry, passes it to Wiggins. Shot clock at six, over Barnes. And it's Wiggins missing. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Here's Fox, trailing by two. For the tie, Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. He kicks it to Curry. There's the dish to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Wiggins. Curry's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Warriors. Pass to Sabonis. It's stolen by Green. Thompson for the triple. Offensive rebound. And it's Green with the jam. More of an instinctual play right there from Draymond. Just anticipated that. He knows where that miss is going. Look, his guys don't miss much, but he gets the ones they do. Now, here's Fox. He's got eight. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got six rebounds here tonight. Thompson dishes to Green. Curry against Fox. Thompson outside. Takes a three. Thompson with the three. Clay not forcing anything. Just waiting for his time. And collecting points in the flow of the offense. Up top Fox. Guarded by Curry. Here's Ellis. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Ellis has got eight. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Curry against Fox. Pass to Thompson. Green deciding where to go with it. A shot by Curry. No good. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Murray, no good. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, 
And I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now, here's Curry. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. Taking a look here at the numbers for Curry. Since the All-Star break, he has been superb. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And he's been deadly from the free throw line. Only a handful of players are shooting a better percentage. Phenomenal asset to have on your team. Here's Fox. He's got eight. Here's Barnes. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. And that's 11 points for Harrison Barnes. you got to have a player you can trust if you're going to call a number that involves a pick and roll. And Harrison Barnes making a good decision there. Curry finds Kaminga. And he banks in the layup. Kaminga's got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Timeout called by the Kings. And let's take this chance to check out the NBA Steel Leaders. The real stats, the real scores from the real NBA. De'Aaron Fox is second. And he's been a rock for them defensively. Just so many steals for him this year. And, and so many of them have been in key moments for his team. Fox with it. Guarded by Kerr. For three. Ellis. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got his fourth rebound in this one. Thompson in the post, guarded by Fox. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Wiggins. The Kings trail by 12. Fox with it. Eight points for him. Can't cash in from close range. Outside, Green. And there's the pass to Curry. From deep three-point territory. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. Looking to get back on track here. No good at the rim. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Now here's Curry. 15 points in the game. Now Kaminga. Shot clock at five. Curry laser guided shot from deep range. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three point range. Fox deciding where to go with it. Will it go? And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. They get Stephen Curry. Defensively, you don't want to give Fox easy points at the free throw line. You want to make him beat you with the J. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach Shoot for the two. Warriors. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly. Just finding the open man. 
And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. And he's good on the second. So much talk about who's the fastest player in the league. And Fox always being mentioned there. His speed and stepping into this leadership role. Lots of great signs from De'Aaron Fox. And it's green. Missing. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Now here's Fox. He's got nine. Ellis, the pass to Sabonis. That one good for two. Sabonis has got his second basket. Not letting the physical defense alter the shot. Sabonis finds a way to get it done. Pass to Green. Wiggins surveying the floor. On the wing, Thompson. Wiggins outside. Inside, Kaminga, and Kaminga throws it down. Yeah, nothing to force here. Wiggins patient, and he found the open man. Outside, Sabonis. Kicks it to Ellis. Over Thompson. Ellis can't get it to go. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. Now here's Wiggins. He's got nine. There's the feed to Green. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, we know he's undersized for the position, but Draymond Green does the work of several men, including how he forces the D that time to foul. The Warriors have been excellent at the free throw line here today, a flawless six for six. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Free throw good, Green. I mean, so much glue in this guy as Draymond focuses on making all the winning plays that he possibly can. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Both free throws good from Green. Now, here's Mitchell. 12 points for him. Pass to Ellis. Paul against Mitchell. Over Paul. The rejection by Paul. The shot's good from McGee. And here is Paul. He's got six. Got a hand on it. Here's Mitchell. And he lobs it up. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Wiggins drives in. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wiggins assertive on the drive that time going right into the foul while he was shooting. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season so he's right around 75%. That one is off. And Andrew Wiggins came into this league as such a special talent. It's so great to see 
all of that blossoming this far into his career. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Kings. Down low. Miles no good. Warriors leading by 14. Talk about guys, Brent, who can fill those gaps out on the floor. How about Trey Lyles? Trey just getting more and more comfortable at carving out that reliable role player. Not only is this guy smart, he's also fearless. He'll throw himself into the game. Now, here's Mitchell. 12 points for him. Pass to Ellis. Takes the 13-footer. Here's McGee. Up and in on the layup. McGee's got four points in the quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Mitchell against Paul. The three. Rebounded by Ellis. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Lyles. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Lyles got his second bucket. Now say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Now here's Paul. He has six. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two players. And here are the Kings now. The Kings trail by 10. Mitchell looking it over. Ellis down low. Piles with a wide open look. From outside, off the mark. Warriors have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Paul passes to Green. And there it is for him. Green's got six. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now here's Ellis. Eight points for him. Mitchell with it. Now defended by Wiggins. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Now that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. He's gone 6 of 6 from the free throw line. Peyton, he's checked in for the Warriors. One shot. Warriors leading by nine. The pass to Looney. Higgins outside. All up top. Looking to end his cold spell. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Davion Mitchell. Oh, clever play by Paul. He makes sure to get some contact and draw the foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 143 left in the third quarter. Mitchell against Paul. Pass to Vizenkov. Now McGee. Miles inside. Covered by Wiggins. Over to the left wing. 
Clock at four. And Mitchell puts up a deep three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Pajemski. Covered by Mitchell. Pass to Pajemski. Golden State moving it around. And the Warriors miss again. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And it's Vazenkov missing. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Here's Vazenkov. The Warriors making the shot. Here's Mitchell. The rebound by Payton. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And it's Paul missing. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. That one misses. Let's it go from deep. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Warriors ahead. They lead by 13. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Defense has been fantastic. Great defense. Offense, simple passes will get it done, right? You guys look great, though. Keep the pressure on. Paying his guys respect they deserve. Likes what he sees. I like that message. And, Kevin, it's so important to praise your guys when they're playing well. Coach understands how critical it is to recognize good effort. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Barnes is in the front court, along with Murray. De'Aaron Fox out there with Mitchell. And it's McGee in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Now, here's Curry. Wow! Curry automatic from deep. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Fox. Well, Fox, not a jump shooter, just doing a great job of mixing it up offensively now. Fox against Curry. Puts up a deep three. Another three for Golden State. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And for the Kings, they're shooting at 44%. Pretty reasonable. Barnes outside. 
Murray surveying the D. Back to Barnes. McGee trying to break free. Goes back up. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and ten rebounds. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Passes to Looney. Now Peyton covered by Barnes. Peyton kicks to Thompson. On the wing, Peyton. Clock is at three. Puts up a three. They get the rebound. Looney. Good D by Barnes. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now, here's Mitchell. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from Barnes. The defense better recognize that Harrison Barnes more than capable from there. Has to Kerr. Let's the three fly. And Curry comes right back with a three. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. Mitchell against Thompson. The shot's good from McGee. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. At one point, they led by 16. The pass to Kaminga. Over Murray. Here's Looney. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And the Warriors lead by 13. Kind of a simple job for Looney out there, but he's willing to do it. Gets into the middle and fights for that board. McGee dishes to Fox. Stolen away. Now the Warriors moving it up. Here's Curry. Steph Curry, what a finish! And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Timeout, timeout called timeout. by the Kings. One guy who's been getting it done so Pardon? far, Stephen Curry. And he is absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to close out on him much quicker when he's lining up those threes. Sabonis, he's checked in for the Kings. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Peyton. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, thanks, guys. Was able to hear Mark Brown during the break. Now, he tore into his guys. He said, your body language is awful right now. You don't even look like you want to play right now. Should I sub in for you? Where's the drive to win? Guys. Thank you, David. Continuing to expand his offensive game. Fox off to a good start. Fox against Curry. And the call will be against Sabonis. And that'll be his third foul so far.
Curry against Fox. Pass to Kaminga. Green with the ball. Six to shoot. Over Sabonis. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Murray finds Fox. Murray outside. Another three for Sacramento. And NBA ready as a rookie. Murray can do damage from deep. Warriors leading by 10. To the middle. And Green slams it in. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. That's tipped. To the inside, Thompson. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on Keegan Murray. Clay Thompson is tall for a guard, so you want to utilize any advantage you have. That time, height came into play. Two, two. The first free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. And so here's Sacramento. Outside, Fox. Dishes it to Barnes. Shoots. And again, it's Sacramento converting. And every now and then, Harrison Barnes has these kind of games where he can explode offensively. Here's Curry with the three. Rebound by the Kings. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Here's Barnes. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Attacking is one thing, but body control... Another, and Harrison Barnes showing you that on that play. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Outside, Fox. He kicks to Mitchell. Back to Fox. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Now that's good patience as Fox uses the pump fake, and that throws the defender off balance. Shooting two. Free throw good, Fox. And with this new CBA, great for the first time, team and league licensing revenue, about $160 million a year, is to be shared with the players. And I think that's probably jersey patches and, and stuff like that. It makes sense that the players should get a share of that. Sacramento making a switch here. Ellis has checked in. Fox hits them both. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure.
And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. Eight-point game. Passes it to Green. And easy two points on the layup. Green's got four points in the quarter. And not a single point in the first quarter, but he's found his game, and you can tell he's got a bit of his swagger back. Fox passes to Sabonis. Murray outside. Pass to Fox. For three. Tries again. And Sabonis lays it up and in. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Fox against Curry. It's hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis has got his 6-2-3 rebound on the night. Fox kicks to Ellis. Fires the three. They get it back. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Stephen Curry. And Sabonis, such a key to this team and what they do. On the inside, a big man that does a little bit of everything. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Paul's checked in for Stephen Curry. And so he makes both from the line. Warriors leading by six. Outside, Green. Thompson outside. Jacks up a three. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Outside, Fox. There's the pass to Sabonis. Paul grabs the board. Golden State's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Green, no luck. The Kings trail by six. And it's Fox with the jam. Fox getting some room and getting up. Warriors have gone. Seven to 15 from the four here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. Paul passes to Wiggins. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Davion Mitchell's checked in for Fox. Sacramento's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. There's a bonus. Green with the block. Oh, I like the extension there from Draymond Green reaching out and timing that one. Paul against Mitchell. Just five to shoot. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Mitchell outside. 
Shot clock at six. Here's Murray. And he uses the glass on the layup. Murray's got five points now this quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Paul with the ball. Over Mitchell. Drops it in from 11 feet. And the Warriors lead by four. And just love how Chris Paul steps up and nails crucial baskets. A huge momentum changing shot there. Timeout called by the Kings. Now Mitchell. To the paint. Sabonis, no good. And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. At one point, they led by 16. Wiggins right now just using force, challenging the defense, and sometimes making them get very physical with his play. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. Yeah, the main thing here, though, guys, is just to make sure you get a two-possession game now. The Kings trail by five. Now here's Ellis. Mitchell outside. Murray outside. Five to shoot. Takes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. And Murray loves knocking down the big shot. Timeout, he timeout. does not fear the moment. Timeout called the Warriors. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going.
Wiggins finds Green. Thompson outside. Paul outside. Pass to Wiggins. Just five on the clock. Over Barnes. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Green with the block. And they're able to recover. Mitchell outside. One thirty-two left in the fourth quarter of this one. And, and here we go, guys. This possession could make or break them right here. Green in the post. Murray on him. Ellis outside. He dishes it to Barnes. Back to Ellis. Murray against Green. Murray left side over Green. Green with the block. To the inside. Money! Well, Clay is going to draw that kind of attention, and that's going to open up opportunity. 50 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Mitchell against Paul. Green with the block. And they'll get another chance. Sabonis, no good. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. De'Aaron Fox has checked in for Sacramento. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Yeah, the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in. Ball against Fox. Another shot. It counts. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Now, De'Aaron Fox stepping up for the team, showing he's capable in these moments. Timeout called the Warriors. They're up by five. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter, and now we've got the intentional foul. Two.
He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Timeout called by the Kings. They're behind by seven. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. Yeah, this is the classic too little, too late. The effort coming and not enough time for them to get back in it. Nineteen seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Vazenkov. It falls. And now they trail by just four. Twelve seconds left in the game. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Two. Two. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Both teams deciding to change it up. Second one is good. And both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. Murray for three. The Warriors pull it in. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over, we were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that about does it for the final game of the NBA regular season. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.
And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A., for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed and matchup possible. And, of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. Thompson and Wiggins on the wing. Green out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Curry in at the one. Here's Ellis. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. The passing hasn't been a focus for Murray, but being able to participate in ball movement will be key for him. Pass to Green. Wiggins outside. The shot. And he's off on his first shot of the game. And so Murray will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Here's Ellis, defended by Thompson. Ellis, good. He can really read the floor. Precision pass in rhythm. To the middle. Here's Green. Uses the glass to finish the layup. With all the attention Clay gets, it can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. Fox outside. Shoots over Kaminga. Kaminga pulls it in. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Here's Thompson. Offline with a baseline jumper. Not exactly what they're looking for out of the gates. Just one of four shooting. Here's Murray. Oh, Green with a block. This is the high-impact D we expect from Green, an intelligent defender who can find these blocks. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Sabonis, the pass to Ellis. With the floater. Nice aggressive defense from Thompson. Getting all over the shot and knocking it away. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on De'Aaron Fox. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. You're one of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. Thompson is also a proven winner and champion. So he gets them both. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. Yes, sir. Fighting through the bump. Now trying to finish the three-point play. You know, Richard, when it comes to excelling in every facet of being a guard, De'Aaron Fox is that guy. And there's no question he can take over with the scoring and get his teammates in ball B.A. He is a pest on defense. This man does it all. And the free throw, no good. We look at the pace of this league, and Fox, look, he is built for it. Wiggins passes to Curry. Green with the ball. Over Murray. No good off the back of the rim. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. 
Ellis passes to Sabonis. Here's Fox. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson scanning the floor. Pass to Curry. Now here's Green. Wiggins outside. To the inside. Here's Kuminga. And that one is hammered home. D was too focused on Wiggins scoring easy give to his teammate. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Outside Barnes. No good there. Excellent D there from Wiggins. It's stolen by Barnes. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And just wasn't able to set up in time. Now Fox, 23 points his last outing. And that'll be Sacramento's ball as it goes out of bounds. King's able to keep possession here. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Sabonis. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And to touch on Sabonis' game, his rebounding might not get enough credit, RJ. And it should be. A, he's almost always a lock to be a top ten rebounder in this league. He's a quality passer, and sometimes his glass work falls under the radar. No good on that one. The unique skill set Sabonis possesses is really outstanding. This man is a versatile scorer, a talented rebounder, and is an exceptional passer also. Good on the second one. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Fox against Curry. Shoots. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Guy's nah, just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Sabonis. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. Ellis' shot is off. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. To the left wing. Pass to Curry. Shot clock at six. Back to Wiggins. Here's the three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Timeout, timeout. Timeout call. Sacramento. Yeah, hoping to tap Start. into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket.
With only one game left, let's take a peek at how the final seedings could look in the West. Taking a look at Golden State, the season is winding down. They sit ninth on the outside looking in currently. And check it out, the Kings, they're tied right now. Well, I think for Golden State, they've had some terrific moments this season. But where's the big leap upward that we've been waiting for? And the clock is ticking for them to make that push. It's looking like they'll be fighting for a spot in the play-in. Oh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Six-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. And that one's good. You're not going to speed him up. Even when you get aggressive guarding Thompson, he stays in control. He's just so tough to cover. Now here's Fox. A reliable go-to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. And the layup is good off the glass. Fox has got six points. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Outside Kaminga. Pass to Green. Here's Curry. Now Wiggins. Shoots over Barnes. Wiggins no good. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Out left to the wing. Here's Fox. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. A smaller guard, but Fox relentless through contact. Outside Curry. Pulls it. Jump shot is good that time. He's got six. The Kings have got six of 14 in so far. Fox outside. Shoots over Curry. It's a bonus. The pass to Murray. Count it. Good. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Curry with it. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. And let's turn to the league leaders now and check out which teams are tops in rebounding this season. The Warriors, number one. And I love how active they all are on the glass. When a shot goes up, this team takes a gang rebounding approach to tracking down their boards. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw is good from Thompson. And the Kings will go for a different look here. McGee, he's checked in for Damana Sabonis. Lyles comes in for Murray. Dorte, he's checked in for Ellis. And Mitchell subbed in for Fox. Both free throws good from Thompson. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Now time a timeout time by Sacramento. Start it.
Pass to Duarte. Now Mitchell. He's guarded by Paul. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Back to Duarte. Taking a look at some numbers here for Stephen Curry. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop. Here's Paul. Nine points for him in his last game. Down to five on the shot clock. Three-pointer off the mark. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Richard, looking at Chris Paul's career up until this point, he's someone that makes every team he's on better. Yeah, it's because he's just such a great leader. Someone that commands excellent, not just from himself, but his teammates and his entire organization. Golden State has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Here's Pajemski. Pass to Payton. Here's Pajemski. Back to Sharic. Outside Payton. Here's a three from Paul. Sacramento grabs the miss. Here's Vizinkov. Still no points. Over Payton. The rebound by Payton. The Warriors leading. The offensive rebound. Shots good by Sharic. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's McGee. Pass to Duarte. Comes up empty down low. Bashes the bucket. Uh, look, you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. Here's Pajemski. Can't cash it in from close range. Well, the Kings shooting only 39% in the early going. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Dorte. Blocked! And here's Sharic. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Here's Paul. Pass to Pajemski. Low block shot. Can't get it to go. Making him 0 for 2. The Kings trailing. Outside Mitchell. Here's Lyles. McGee with it. Charge covers. McGee passes to Duarte. To win the cold spell. Got a hand on it. Clock and clock there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Golden State has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Paul against Mitchell. Here's Pajemski. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Vizinkov. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Vizinkov. To the paint. Here's Lyles. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call.
Well, the Warriors shooting around 40% early on here. Pass to Payton. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Sharp find by Paul, one of the best passers of all time. Outside Mitchell. We've got 113 left to play in the first. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Here's Peyton. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Duarte. Here's Mitchell to end the run. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Peyton up top. Right now averaging 5.5 a, a game. And that one, good. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Mitchell with the ball, and Looney picks him up defensively. A nice shot by McGee. Well orchestrated, and then the pass is right on the money. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Paul against Mitchell. Paul passes to Looney, and Looney with the slam. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Outside Mitchell. Over Paul. And that's not going to go. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. They've had incredible success defensively. Taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. We'll be right back after this word. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Boy, for the Warriors, this has been the game they've wanted to have. That's <laughs> simple. Offensively, they limited their turnovers. Defensively, they forced turnovers. Winning the turnover battle is so important. They've been sharp so far, and it's showing up on the scoreboard. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay at the one and the two. Dario Saric is out there with Green. And it's Wiggins in at the three. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, after 941 days sidelined by an AC release terror, Clay Thompson's back doing what he loves. He said, quote, in the beginning, I was so eager to prove that I'm still great. Now I'm more relaxed, reminding myself that this is a dream that I'm living. What matters most is just having fun and playing hard. And all the big nights, they'll come. Brian? Yeah, that's the right perspective, Allie. Thanks for that. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. This is the most they've led, 13 points. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. Yeah, I also like how they've immediately gotten out in transition. They came to Find run, and we'll see if Find they the can lanes. keep it up. One shot. Free throw good. Sharich. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Now here's Fox. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. 
So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Stephen Curry. And because Fox likes to score so often, it puts defenses in a very tough situation. He really earns a lot of these calls. And he drops the first. Kaminga, he's checked in for Sharich. And both free throws good for Fox. Here's Curry. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Here's Kuminga. The shot off that time. Great D that time from Murray. Well, the Kings shooting right at 35%. Not getting what they want out there. Pass to Fox. It's stolen by Curry. Inside. And the Warriors pushing it up now. And the slam dunk by Thompson. And Clay looking opportunistic in transition. Great job executing there. You know, when you look back on Stephen Curry's career, it's still amazing that he fell to the seventh pick of the draft. You think a few teams regret that one, B.A.? <laughs> look, as great as a shooter as he is, teams were scared off by his build because he didn't have that typical NBA strong body. Now here's Kaminga. Pass to Curry. Wiggins with it. Five on the clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And it's rejected. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The Kings have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Fox finds Barnes. And he makes a first. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Kaminga. Wiggins outside. Down low. Here's Green. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Green's gotten his second bucket of the game. Zero fear in Green's game. Loves mixing it up down low. Fox outside. Kaminga pulls it in. The Warriors have gone four for six here in the second. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. The way that Curry reads the floor, he could get double-digit assist on any night if he wanted to. Outside Barnes. Outside Murray. Clock at six. From deep. 
Offensive rebound, Kings. Three-pointer, Fox. Shot is off. He's 5 for 12. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Eh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. And the basket by Curry. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Trying to time find out, a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. Start. They could really use a basket. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Well, Richard, as the first overall pick, some of the highest expectations were put on Wiggins at a very young age. Yeah, while playing high school ball, some recruiter analysis called him the Michael Jordan of Canada. That's some big shoes to fill. If it's not the highest expectation ever, I don't know what is. And we got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers. And what has been the trend for Draymond Green? And his assist numbers have been dropping over the past few years. Not a good trend. Perhaps he's become a little too concerned about finding his own shot and not seeing the rest of the court. Now here's Fox. He's got 12. Sabonis, so the pass to Barnes. And he banks in the layup. He saw a path to the rim, and he took it. The defense just couldn't stop him. Golden State with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Thompson finds Kaminga. And here is Green. Outside Curry. To the inside. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Curry. Curry's got six assists now in the game. And so it's Fox with it. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Sabonis outside. Pass to Ellis. Shoots over Thompson. Ellis' shot is off. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Now here's Curry. He's covered by Fox. Curry passes to Wiggins. And the call is going to be, yes, wing. an illegal screen. And since the All-Star break, no one's been better from the free throw line than these guys. Fifth, Stephen Curry. Over the second half of the season, he's been locked in at the line. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Come get it, come get it. Curry against Fox. Sabonis in the post. He's coming off a 25-point game against Phoenix. Murray up top. He's watched by Kaminga. Murray, shot is good. You're roughing Murray up a little in there, but he's built to take punishment and can still deliver. Curry passes to Kaminga. Wiggins outside. And he lobs it up to the rim. It's stolen by Fox. Murray's shot is good. Murray's got six points. Yeah, how about Murray shaking off the contact? The young guy doesn't let it affect him on his shot. Curry passes to Green. The kick out to Wiggins. Curry surveys. Back to Wiggins. Shoots over Barnes. Sacramento grabs the miss. 
Sabonis has got a rebound number five here tonight. Murray, no good. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. Pass to Kaminga. Over Murray. And again, no good by Golden State. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Outside Barnes. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins has got six rebounds now in the game. On the wing, Curry. Over Fox. Misses off the right iron. This King squad is struggling. Barnes, it's good. Barnes has got six here in the quarter. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're moving on after the tough loss at the hands of the Pelicans. They just weren't careful with the rock. The passing was loose. The ball handling was lackluster. That's not how you win in this league. Hopefully this is a reality check for them. Teams in this league are just too good. You will be punished for your mistakes. And the Warriors making a switch here. Fox against Paul. Pass to Looney. And Looney with the slam. I've seen CP do this a million times. No one is better at running the pick and roll. Fox against Paul. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. Chalk up two there. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. The Warriors have gotten eight of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Paul against Fox. Now here's Paul. Defense right on him. That one falls. He's now one for three. Wow, even against contact, defense does all they can to stop Paul inside, and he still slips by them. The Zinkoff. The rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. That's good from Paul on the assist by Wiggins. Paul's got four points this quarter. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. Here's Lyles. He's watched by Kaminga. The jump hook. Lyles' shot is good. Lyles has gotten his first points in this one. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Warriors. Pass to Pajemski. It's Wiggins on the wing. Again, Golden State. And Wiggins excels at reading defenses as well as understanding when to just catch and fire. Now Mitchell, 13 feet out. Kaminga pulls it in. Paul with it. To the middle. Here's Looney. 
Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That'll belong to Demonis Sabonis. Well, Coach Kerr calls him the moral compass of the Warriors team. Kevon Looney has been a cornerstone, RJ. He knows his role. It's defense, rebounding, and setting screens, and he does his role at an elite level. He's a connector in the locker room, and everyone knows that Loon is that guy. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So the Kings making a change here. McGee's checked in. Sharich checks in for the Warriors. And so he makes both from the line. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Left side Mitchell. Here's McGee. That one falls. Nice setup by Mitchell. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Fox against Paul. To the paint. The shot by Looney, no good. Sacramento has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Back to Fox. Six to shoot. It's rebounded by Golden State. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Good on the bucket. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's Mitchell. Yet to see a basket. The floater. And it's finished off by Fox as he lays it in. The teardrop from De'Aaron, a shot that perfectly suits his game. Pass to Pajemski. And the bucket is good. Pajemski's got his second basket of the game. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Fox deciding where to go with it. Here's Lyles. Back to Fox. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And as the leaderboard shows, these teams have really dominated the offensive glass so far this year. In the third spot, the Warriors. One of the top second chance point clubs in the association. They really hit the offensive glass. First free throw is good. Payton's checked in for the Warriors. And he makes both free throws. Oh, just much more assertive offensively in the second quarter. He's putting pressure on this defense and earning trips to the line. Pass to Pajemski. Back to Paul. Oh, and Fox with the block. Catches the opposition off guard. Fox uses his instincts to make defensive plays. Fifty seconds left in the first half. Shooting two. Ben. 
The first one falls. I've been watching this game a long time, and there is absolutely nothing that Paul can't do on the basketball court. Really does have the whole package. Both good from the line that time. There's 49 seconds left in the second period. Fox against Paul. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. When Fox drives, he knows he's going to get contact, but he stays locked in and gets the foul call. Free throw's good for Fox. So hits one and misses one at the line. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Mitchell against Paul. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. <laughs> good luck at trying to match up with Paul in these sets. He's just so good. It's nearly impossible trying to stop him from breaking your defense apart. Now here's Fox. 17 points in the game. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Six on the shot clock. He shoots it. So as we conclude the first half, a fairly one-sided game. The Warriors on top, running away with this one. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. So it's Golden State who's out on top at the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? The difference in bench points is staggering. Their second unit came to play tonight. They were aggressive. You got to figure the starters are loving it, seeing how much work their second unit is getting done. And Shaq, what do you think about Sacramento? The shooting percentage they allow was through the roof. Their coach should absolutely be ripping into the defensive effort. They need to take some pride on the other end and just lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Well, without question, De'Aaron Fox displaying all his skills today. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. Then it's Harrison Barnes. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Ellis in at the two. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Brian, the Kings finally last season snapped their 16-year playoff drought. And Coach Mike Brown said, quote, you take a job to try and build a championship-level team. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you have to believe. We are going to keep working, and we will get there. Brian? Well, that's what he's all about. He's the reigning coach of the year, Allie. Thank you. Here's Paul. No luck on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Well, Sacramento is shooting only 39% so far in the game. Here's Fox. 
Two points. That one goes. Fox has got four points in the quarter. We've seen Fox take over games before. Only takes a few shots to go, and then this man is feeling it. The three from Curry. Pure from three-point range. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's Murray. He has six. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his third foul so far. And the Warriors making a switch here. Wiggins has checked in. It's Barnes on the wing. Shoots over Wiggins. Rebounded by Green. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Wiggins looking around. Inside. Here's Kuminga. The rebound by Murray. Murray's got a sixth rebound on the night. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Here's Fox. Warriors with the rebound. Kaminga's got five rebounds tonight. Curry against Fox. Into the third. Two minutes in now. The three from Thompson. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The Kings have gone two of five in this third quarter. Now Fox. He's got 21. Here's Ellis. Unloads from 13. Nice D from Thompson. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable from mid-range. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Now here's Wiggins. They lead by the biggest margin of the game. 23 points. Pass to Thompson. From the arc. Sacramento grabs the miss. And here's Fox. He's covered by Curry. Yep, that one's good. Fox has got 23 points. Look at Fox fearlessly going inside, hunting for a higher percentage look. Outside Curry. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now here's Fox. 23 points in the game. Here's Murray. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kaminga's got six rebounds in the game. Wiggins outside. Left side Green. All alone. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Green's got eight points. Yeah, Green knows he has to act fast, so he wastes no time finding the shot. Pass to Sabonis. Now Fox. Clock at six. Outside Barnes. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. Green with the defensive effort. Golden State has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Here's Kuminga. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Keegan Murray. Looking at the young forward, Jonathan Kuminga, a big man who continues to try to get better. Yeah, I really like this guy. Ultimately, he's got to hit his 10,000 hours. He's got to play more games and get more minutes, but he definitely possesses a hunger to improve, and every team loves those types of values. The first free throw is good. Dorte, he's checked in for the Kings.
Second free throw, no good. And they're winning, but it hasn't been because of him. He can't throw it in the ocean so far. Ellis passes to Sabonis. Pass to Duarte. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And for the players coming into the league, potentially set for life. But there are pitfalls you have to look out for, Grant. It's so true, B.A. I mean, it's tough. You can't take all your childhood friends along for the ride with you. You've got to be cautious with new acquaintances. So it'll definitely keep you on your toes. You must make great decisions. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. Curry with it. He's got 13. Pass to Green. Sabonis against Curry. Kaminga down low. Over Murray. And again, it's the Warriors missing. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. And a deep three from Curry. The rebound by Murray. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Pass to Ellis. Curry with the block. Making his present felt on defense. Curry with the rejection. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Here's Thompson. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Warriors. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that time is their out, block out. numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. Started. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. Yeah, another thing they did well, running the floor. They've kept the pace high and pulled away with their transition offense. Timeout call, Sacramento. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Our 2K leaderboard highlighting the NBA's assist leaders over the last month. Second, the Warriors. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock, playing great team basketball. Here's Ellis. Here's Duarte. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Murray from outside. That one falls. Nice feed from Sabonis. Sabonis has got three assists now in this one. 
Thompson right side. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Barnes. Pass to Murray. Here's Ellis. He's covered by Curry. And the shot goes down. Ellis has got six points. The screen doesn't earn him a ton of breathing room. Turns out he doesn't need it. Curry passes to Green. Barnes against Wiggins. To the middle. Here's Kuminga. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. He's got five. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Sabonis. Pass to Barnes. Here's Murray. He's watched by Kuminga. Shot clock at five. Oh, it's stolen. Now here's Wiggins. Here's Thompson. Right through the D for the layup. That is the definition of a gamer. Clay, right. Here's Duarte. Defended by Thompson. No good on the triple. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that. 11 on the night. If it ain't broke, don't. Here's Ellis. Wiggins outside. Shoot again. Yeah, it's Golden State. Good lift off the floor. And that. They kick it out to Murray. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. And at his feet. Offensive now in the quarter. Sacramento has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Ellis passes to Barnes. Now Sabonis. Hounded by Wiggins. Here's Ellis. He's covered by Curry. Four on the clock. Here's Ellis. The shot misses. Oh, nice D from Curry. And with his team trying to trim this margin, his struggles this quarter, eh, they're not helping things. And so Murray will bring it up for Sacramento. Barnes passes to Murray. Here's Duarte. Pass to Ellis. Oh, Green with a block. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. So both teams making some changes here. Paul against Mitchell. And that one's good. Paul. Ten points for him. Look, you gotta appreciate the cleverness of Paul. Skilled at fending off defenders and finding ways to score all the way through contact. Now here's Mitchell. No points so far. Pass to Duarte. Six to shoot. Here's Lyles. Beyond the arc. Drains the triple. Lyles has got five now. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Well, Richard, now a veteran who's been around the league, Trey Lyles understands his role and plays it really well. Yeah, which is to help space the floor with his shooting. He continues to prove how reliable he is from deep. I also really like his shot selection, B.A. We have seen Klay Thompson with some of the most impressive shooting performances in NBA history. His team and him both know you better feed that hot hand because he's got it going on. Drops in the three. Dorte's got four points in the quarter. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. 
Up top, Paul. Checked by Mitchell. Pass to Thompson. There's the triple. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Thompson's got 25 points in the game. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence, impressive to see. Here's the Zinkov, hounded by Wiggins. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. De'Aaron Fox has checked in for Duarte. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Golden State has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Paul finds Looney. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Paul passes to Sharich. Just five to shoot. Called in by McGee. McGee's got five rebounds tonight. And so it's Clay Thompson making highlights for the Warriors. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Golden State has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. They've got Dario Saric. He's out there with Kevon Looney. Moody is out there with Gary Payton II. And it's Pajemski in at the point guard position. Here's Saric. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Payton against Jones. Pass to Mitchell. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially P.G. County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. Moody misses. And here are the Kings now. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's the Zinkoff. The shot no good. Sharich with some nice D. Here's Moody. Pass to Payton. Great D that time from McGee. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Sacramento. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. And here is McGee. Over Moody. McGee's shot is off. Here's Pajemski. Looney inside. Covered by McGee. Here's Moody. Tries yet again. And he lays it in. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. The Kings have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. On the wing, Jones. Back to Mitchell. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. 
Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. Pass to Pajemski. Back to Payton. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. The Kings making a switch here. Duarte's checked in. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And here comes the break. Jones with the ball. Peyton covering. Here's McGee. Soft touch off the glass. Feed the interior. Good things will happen. The Warriors have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Pass to Looney. Now here's Sharich. To the inside. Here's Peyton. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Jones. Up and in on the layup. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. The Warriors have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Here's Pajemski. Checked by Mitchell. Poke loose. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Outside Payton. Pass to Pajemski. Shot clock at six. Peyton against Jones. Here's Moody. And the Warriors tack on two more. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Jones. Knocked away. Here's Vizinkov. Sharich covers. Back to Jones. Pass to Vizenkov. Here's Duarte. And another basket for Sacramento. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. Here's Pajemski. So much talk about what should be done with the regular season, RJ. Yeah, players and teams have kind of really started downplaying the importance of the regular seasons, but not the smart ones. Part of that is, you know, the media obsession with rings and ring counting, but the regular season matters, and I do not believe that they should shorten it at all. Stephen Curry, he's checked in for Moody. Here's Curry. Down low. Here's Looney, and Looney with the slam. One of the most unselfish superstars out there, Curry is always looking to make his teammates better. For Sacramento, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field so far in the fourth. Mitchell, the pass to McGee. Pass to Duarte. It's rebounded by Golden State. Outside Curry. Here's Sharich. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he knocks down the first one. The Kings making a switch here. Barnes is checked in.
And both free throws, good for Sharich. Richard, what's your stance on the take foul that was implemented not too long ago? I am so glad that they implemented that. The transition game is one of the most entertaining aspects of the game. Not many people are going to complain about a rule that encourages up-tempo basketball. Now here's Mitchell. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And Curry's got the ball here for the Golden State Warriors. Puts up a three. Hauled in by the Kings. McGee's got rebound number eight now. Curry against Mitchell. Pass to McGee. Barnes with it. Five to shoot. Driving to the basket. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. That close in against a way shorter defender, you could just put up two. Here's Curry. Rebound by the Kings. Outside Barnes. And he can't get that one. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Curry. Oh, McGee with the block. Pass to Mitchell. To the paint. And McGee with the stuff. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Curry against Mitchell. Here's Pajemski. And RJ team's now able to add a third two-way contract to the roster. A lot of quality players getting a foothold into the league now. Yeah, you think of names like Alex Caruso, Lou Dort, able to develop in both the G League and in the association. So many players have really gotten their footing inside that G League. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Kings. Keegan Murray's checked in for the Kings. Ellis comes in for Dorte. The Kings have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Pass to Barnes. Knocks it loose. Outside Murray. Clock at 6. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. They have no answer defensively inside. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. And now we present our new balance play of the game, Clay Thompson. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Wow, he delivered exactly what they needed in this one, injecting much-needed energy into this squad and helping them bounce back from that last loss. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Wiggins. Outside, Green. 
Thompson finds Kaminga. Back to Thompson to end the drought. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. Let me just say this. Clay Thompson is one of about 10 people in NBA history that you do not want to leave open for a three. The defense has to make it harder for him out there. Fox, the pass to Ellis. Well, Richard, the league now requires 65 games played to qualify for postseason awards. You see that curbing load management at all? I hope so, B.A. I'm not a big fan of load management. I think if you're healthy, you should try and play. You should build up your strength to run a marathon. I think if teams are prioritizing postseason success, that's fine. But, look, players are going to want to get those All-NBA awards because that helps with your contract. First one falls for him. Some changes for Sacramento. McGee, he's checked in for Damana Sabonis. Lyles comes in for Barnes. And it's Dorte in for Fox. Sharich checks in for the Warriors. Payton comes in for Wiggins. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. Outside Payton. Down low. Sharich shot is off. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Now here's Murray. Here's Lyles. It's Dorte on the wing. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got eight rebounds in the game. Curry finds Green. Back to Curry. And in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Here's McGee. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. Some changes for Sacramento. Barnes, he's checked in for McGee. And Fox is subbed in for Duarte. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Payton. And here's Curry. Pass to Wiggins. And here is Kaminga. Back to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. Barnes with it. Now Thompson defending. Murray for three. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. And some changes here for the Kings. McGee comes in for Barnes. And it's Dorte in for Ellis. Sharich checks in for the Warriors. Payton comes in for Andrew Wiggins. One shot. The free throw drops from Murray. And the physical style Murray plays with will serve him well in this league. Now here's Curry. And they call an illegal screen here. Well, from broadcasting to team ownership, heading USA Basketball. Grant, what drives you to do so much these days? Well, B.A., I'm an active guy. And I had a great playing career. But the things I wasn't able to do because of the injury, I think, left me even more motivated to excel and try new things in this next chapter of my life. Barnes, he's checked in for the Kings. Ellis comes in for Dorte. Now here's Fox. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. And here's Curry for three. 
Hauled in by the Kings. Murray's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Inside. And it's Fox with the jam. Nice ball movement. Good job by Murray to recognize the situation and create the wide open look. Golden State has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Curry passes to Green. It's Wiggins on the wing. Thompson outside. Nails it from beyond the arc. Thompson's got six in the quarter. This is something that Clay works on all the time, even though he is already elite at it. He readies himself to fire once he catches that ball. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Warriors. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And with another win in the bag, they've racked up 46 total on the year. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Klay Thompson. He did a great job following his team's game plan and not rushing anything on offense, which allowed him to catch fire. Man, good whistle there. And he makes a first. The quintessential glue guy. Green does all the dirty work. You need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set. McGee, he's checked in for Sacramento. Dorte comes in for Ellis. And both free throws good for Green. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pass to Lyles. Rebounded by Green. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Thompson, the layup off target. Now Fox. Banked it in off the glass. You look at Fox now compared to when he entered the league. He is so much more physical. Smooth sailing for Golden State. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to Thompson. Here's Pajemski. Outside, green. Six to shoot. To the inside. Sharit's shot is off. Fox with the ball. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that about does it for the final game of the NBA regular season. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.